So this is, you know, a big topic nowadays. You know, do you do FUE? Do you FUT? What is? How do you make a decision to do each which way? I always encourage everyone, if they can, being in the hair world, is try to learn both techniques because they both have their roles. Um, a lot of times you see this kind of stuff on the internet and say, oh, I would never do a strip. This, this is the kind of junk you get. Um, I just horrible, right? But then how about this? You do FUE and you get this. Then, you know, is it scarless? No, nothing is scarless. If you do good work, it's rare that you're going to encounter an unfavorable scar, whether it's a strip or an FUE, but you've got to alert to the patient that nothing you do is scarless. And you've got to understand that there's 75% of FUEs have some level of hypopigmentation. And you cannot tell the patient they'll be able to shave their head. You may have to tell them they have to grow a little longer. So this preoperative counseling is so important because people on the internet say, oh, FUE is scarless. It's not. And that's an important lesson because that's all hype. And it's only half the story because harvesting is really just talking about the back of the head, how you get it out of there. But the result is the design. And that's what we've emphasized in the last lecture. Focus not just on how you harvest, clearly that's important, but also talk about you know, what are the, the end results, which is a beautiful scalp where you're we're covering that, that ball there. What's safe? Well, the problem is over time is that the, the, there, that's SDA, that safe donor area, gets encroached upon as we get older. So your SDA 30 is really not safe anymore by the time you're 40. So what is it? When you're working on FUE, and in, in order to get a safe result, you can't just take it from one little area. You have to take it from the whole scalp. Well, that case, you're starting to potentially encroach on the safe area. So if you're dealing with a 28-year-old guy with a balding crown and you start harvesting up to here, you may lose all of this transplant in the front or in various areas because the person's gotten older. FUT or strip figure transplant, which is a bad misnomer, but it's unfortunately colloquially how we refer to the strip, or if you strip is in a safer zone because you can take a centimeter out and take a lot of hair and move it fast. So sometimes FUE plus FUT is great and I use that all the time. I'll tell you some ideas about how I do this and more of, a, of where we are with FUE I'm going to talk about in my talk in the next room. Uh, I don't know where it is. It's in the biotechnology Drew Campbell's doing. So the ideas for me, FUE, I typically like smaller cases because I don't go in the safe donor area. I don't burn out the donor hair. I, I, and I, if the person's wearing short hair, smaller case, fantastic. Okay, someone with extensive baldness, can't, it's it, like 2,000, 3,000 grafts. I much prefer, not only for my own sanity, but for the patient's donor capacity safety, is staying in the safe donor hair and moving hairs in a reliable way. No doubt I prefer to use uh, a strip procedure if I can, unless the person says, no, this is a strip case for me. Unless they want FUE, which makes no sense to me, uh, I try to get out of the hype. I try to explain to patients what are the pros and cons. The more tools you have, the more ways you can do something. This is an FUE case. Obviously, he has no balding. I've just picked a model. But my point is closely sh shaved head. That may be so close that he may have hypopigmentation. You got to be careful. You don't want to oversell someone what is false. Obviously, if they've got a little FTR recession and shorter hair, FUE is great. There's also other indications for FUE, which I'll explain in a moment. But the, the FUE graphs are more skeletonized, and people have to know that. This is looking at FUE uh, immediately afterwards. This is a day out, okay, and then seven days out, they're pretty, pretty well covered. I mean, they're good to go, uh, which is really nice. This is using FUE to fix a previous linear donor scar, okay? And this is a beard FUE, so taking beard, this is uh, a bad transplant, plus he had a failed beard attempt and a feared, failed body transplant, in other words, from the leg. And this is one session, I'm not, I've just did a second session now, so this should look better because it still doesn't match the, the capacity here. But that's beard hair being moved up there, has a much more, antigen, much more favorable antigen to catagen uh, ratio. And so I always say, you know, if, if all you have is a hammer, the whole world is a nail. Uh, so FUE is only a tool. Don't get enamored with one method of doing it. Try to learn as many methods and, and get good at this. Again, small plug, pun intended, for the uh, FUE book. I don't make any money on this and I make no money on my course. But these are, I do it because of passion.